Well, you'd think with all that fresh air and exercise, farmers would be some of the healthiest people in our community. But research shows they're actually overrepresented when it comes to many preventable diseases. For the past few years, a dedicated team has been travelling the state with an innovative program aimed at improving farmers' health. And it's proved so popular, it's now gone national. This week, the program's founders were back where it all began. Matthew Stanley reports. F-D-H-T. Mm. Usually at this time of year, after the footy season wraps up, the Glen Thompson Dunkeld club rooms at the foot of the Grampians are pretty quiet. But this week, they played host to a very different type of fitness training. M-U-P-T-F-Z-A-X-N-F-D. These local farming families have taken some time off the land to improve their health. It's always a little bit apprehensive in the morning, particularly when people are hungry, waiting for their breakfast. But once people have got into the program and participate, they love it. Health-wise, farming families are worse off than city dwellers. They have higher rates of heart disease, diabetes and depression. So it's not surprising their life expectancy is also lower. The Sustainable Farm Families program was devised in Hamilton by Susan Brumby and Stuart Wilder from the Western District Health Service with the help of the Department of Primary Industries. There is a huge impact on family and children and labour and welfare and all those things if someone in a farming family business becomes unwell. The family is the biggest asset on the farm, not just the, the cows, the sheep, the crop, whatever, the family. The pair have taken their workshops to all corners of Victoria and by the end of next year about 1,500 farmers will have been through the program. Many of them reluctantly drafted into submitting themselves to the battery of tests and group discussions about everything from cholesterol to erectile dysfunction. Most commonly they'll say because I was told to come or my wife said I should be here. And based on the results, for many it's not before time. Up to three quarters of those who front up end up being referred to a doctor for treatment. People come to this program thinking, yeah, I'm pretty fit, pretty well, I don't think I've got any problems. And then we'll find things like cholesterol, blood glucose readings elevated, we'll find high blood pressure that's probably not managed or not treated. Now, as you breathe in, visualise yourself breathing in a beautiful golden white light. Beyond immediate health concerns, the program's about persuading farmers to think of their health and the health of their family as an asset that's worth investing in. Yeah, so I suppose it's like anything else, we just put it off because it's the, the now that matters and we really should be taking a bit more time. After all the testing, talking and contemplation, the last part of the workshop takes the form of a field trip. <laughs> a lot of the men will stand up the back and say, no, you just take my wife along there, she's fine, she does the cooking, she does the thing. But we drag the men along and we say, no, come on, you've got to learn this too. This one's a great alternative for kids because it's white, it's low GI, it's got the GI index oh, okay. on it. And also it's 6.4 dietary fiber. Oh, that's the mayonnaise and salad dressings are another great catch. Yeah, but it tastes good. Oh, it tastes good. <laughs> the supermarket tour is a chance to put what they've learned into practice. And you find that a lot with the little light, they'll take the fat back, or they'll bump yeah, the yeah, sugar yeah, up yeah. to make it taste better. Fats, 8.5, saturated 1.5. Yep. We know that one of the big factors is obviously lifestyle, and uh, our diet is a big one. So in the supermarket, we empower people to know what they're actually reading um, on a label and what they're actually putting on the plate at home. Now in its fourth year, the program's already seeing results. Graduates are encouraged to come back after 12 months for a progress check. We're finding that people have adapted and changed. They've changed their lifestyle, they've changed their attitudes to safety and they've changed their way that they live in terms of stress management, what they eat, how they exercise. It's a pity that more people aren't here, perhaps the ones that really should do it are not them, they're hiding. But if it comes around again, 
I would suggest there'd be more people that would do it. And go. Blow, 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 blow,